If your child took the ACT or SAT through Duke Tip recently, you might be looking for some guidance on how to interpret the scores. As you look at these scores, there's one very important thing to remember. For students taking the ACT or SAT as a 7th grader, there's really no such thing as a bad score. Duke Tip encourages you to look at above-level tests as diagnostic tools, a way to identify relative academic strengths. Just being invited to take the test is an honor in and of itself you're going to have access to two different score reports. The first one comes directly from the ACT or SAT testing agencies and not from Duke Tip. It should arrive in your mailbox six to eight weeks after you take the test. This score report is going to compare your scores to those of typical high school juniors and seniors. The second score report is something Duke Tip puts together itself, so that's the one we'll concentrate on here. We call it the Score Results Summary, and it should be available for download on our website in early April. We'll also mail it to you, along with a Certificate of Merit, in August. This report compares your child's scores to those of other Duke Tip students taking the test through the 7th grade talent search. As you dive into this report, you'll see that we highlight a couple of different things. One, the breakdown of both the ACT and SAT in terms of test time and length. Two, the average scores of all the 7th grade talent search participants who took the test. And three, the highest scores achieved by all the 7th grade talent search participants who took the test. We also provide detailed score tables for both the ACT and SAT to help you further compare your child's scores with those of other Duke Tip students. Let's look at a past year score table as an example. If your student scored a 23 on the reading section of the ACT, for example, you can scan down and across to see that they scored in the 79th percentile, or better than 79% of the tipsters who took the ACT. You can find the same percentiles for your child's total SAT score or ACT composite score as well. We know all this can be a lot to take in, but really, there's just one key takeaway. Any 7th grader who takes the ACT or SAT through Duke Tip is doing great. These above-level test scores from the 7th grade can help you identify your child's academic strengths, and you may use this information to build an appropriate educational plan for your child. For instance, if your child scored in the 50th percentile or above on a particular subtest, you could look into things like single-subject acceleration or curriculum compacting. If they scored up to the 49th percentile, you might consider independent learning options, distance learning opportunities, as well as summer enrichment programs. Those last three happen to be things that Duke Tip offers. Just visit our website to learn more about our educational programs, all part of Duke Tip's mission to identify, celebrate, and challenge your academically talented child.